Hello everybody, thanks again for joining us and today we're going to be converting a mark file to Excel and we see right in front of us here a sample mark file. This is the mark file which will we, we will be converting to Excel format and we'll be using mark edit to convert this file to Excel. I'm going to open the mark edit right now and here's my mark edit and let's just take a look at that file first in the mark editor now this is not a necessary process necessary part of the process however let's just take a look at what we're dealing with here so our file is in let's see we've got it under documents and under w documents and under documents in process and mark to Excel, and here is our sample mark file. Okay, let's get all files, or mark. This is our sample, here's our file. So we're looking at it in an editor, so we can easily read it, but we see this is a standard mark file. We've got our leader, we've got our 008, we've got multiple 650s, we've got a 700, I see we've got a Q and a T in our 700s, and we're ready to go. So we verified we have a mark file, it's a legitimate mark file, and now we're going to convert it. So first we're going to convert it to a tab delimited text file, then we're going to use that tab delimited text file in Excel to make it an Excel file. So first in mark edit we'll choose tools, export, tab delimited records, We'll get our file paths. Here's our file. We're under Documents and Process, Mark to Excel. I'm going to take the same exact path, and my output will go to the same place as a TXT. And of course, I could choose the little icon here and choose my path, but what I've done suffices. The delimiter, we're going to use a tab. You know, there's other options here, but we're going to use the tab. We could use the comma. We could use the pipe. Uh, and then, of course, when we export it in Excel, excuse me, when we import it in Excel, we would have to choose that delimiter. We're choosing the tab for now. The infield delimiter, we see we've got a, a semicolon. The contextual delimiter, we've got a space. We're just leaving all the defaults here. Next. Now we want to choose which fields do we want to export in the file, which will eventually be in Excel. Now there's no need each time to come along and say, well, I want the 100 and I want the subfield A and add field. It's just you can do it once and then choose save settings. I have already done it once. I have already saved the settings. So now I'm going to load the settings, and I've got my Mark Edit Export Settings file, and it automatically fills in all the fields I want, and I think I'll add the 700A add field. And we saw we had a Q and a T, if I'm not mistaken. Let's throw in the Q. Let's throw in the T. And... I'm going to save this, if you don't mind, so that next time I'll be able to use this. I'll save this as Mark Edit Settings, and I'll call this with 700. Okay, so next time I'm doing this, I can choose that one. All right, so now we've chosen which fields we want to export. I've got, by the way, you can see here, control fields, and I've got non-control fields. And we're all set. We're ready to export. So here we go, export. I'm clicking the export button. Items have been exported to, and it's in the same directory that the import was in because that's what I chose as my export. And we should see that here. Uh, here we are. Uh, this is the file that was just exported now. 1323 is my local time. Okay, now we're going to go to Excel. And we're going to open that file. And we'll say open. Excel's telling me good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too, Excel. And we'll open, we'll browse, and let's go to that file. So we're going to go where we saved it. Everybody gets to see my whole directory structure here. 
and I will take this sample mark file txt that we created just now. All right, so it's choosing delimited. If you recall, we chose tab delimited. I showed that you could have chosen a pipe. There was another option. Okay, the file origin, I'm going to choose the default here, but it's choosing on my computer by default Hebrew DOS, but I could choose whatever it, whatever it may be if it was something different. So I've so far just taken all the defaults. Next. Again, I'm going to take the defaults. It's the delimiter tab, which I pointed out before. Uh, we could put something else there like I showed already. Fine. Next. And I could say certain columns have a certain format. There might be a certain date to certain something else. I'm going to leave everything general and finish. There we go. Let's look at this a little larger. I'm going to select the whole Excel, click one of the columns so they all get larger. And we've got our LDR. We've got our 008, 100A, 260A, 260B, 260C. We've got our 650, the A, the X. I didn't have any 650Z. And here's the 700A, Q, and T that we saw we had. So we have successfully converted our file from Mark to Excel. I will choose here Save As, and I will save this now as an Excel file. Save, and we are done. We have sample mark file.xlsx. We have successfully saved, converted a mark file to Excel and saved it. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on this session, and we'll see you soon next time. Bye-bye.